and welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. Welcome back to the Pratt Cave. Now, in my last video, I was doing the Mini. My buddy Sean owns this very, very fast Mini. This was it after he'd been to a track day. Hmm. Lots and lots of track day evidence there, i.e. brake dust. No wonder that car was so blimmin' contaminated. Anyway, a really good time. Clocked 135 miles an hour down the straight on the Indy circuit at Brands Hatch. That takes some doing. And those were the results of that little evening session. Anyway, enough about the Mini. This video, I've got a Volvo. Dirty Diesel Daily Volvo. You might have seen this car on the channel before, but I've got some new stuff, or new to me, new to the channel, is the Infinity Wax Millions products. Now, it's not unusual for a company to team up and collab with a sweet manufacturer because, believe it or not, millions have teamed up with people like Bulk Powders, the fitness guys. Very, very strange. Anyway, Apple Pre-Wash, got that. Code of shampoo, we've got that. Love these labels, very, very colorful, and they smell incredible. Code of shampoo, a detailer. Now this is kind of based on rapid detailer, but apparently this has been improved, and that's the strawberry version. Mm. And then we've got uh, ODK, I've used this before. This is the tire, this is the tire and trim dressing from Dan ODK. I've also got a Purge, this is Purge, I haven't got a Purge. This is Purge, water spot removed from Auto Glance. Oh, an air freshener, which is bubble gum, not the best. Yeah, that's definitely bubble gummy. That's from uh, Millions Infinity Wax. Blimey, that's strong. We're not gonna be using that on the car. I just thought I'd give it a nice whiff test. And it is very nice. Also got this. Now, lots of people message Time and time again, saying, when are you going to do certain brands? There is a couple of them. Built Hambers, one of them, that gets mentioned quite a lot. And it gets mentioned in the podcast. So check the podcast out. Check it out. Link below. This is from Autosmart, one of the brands that is missing from the channel. Now, I get sent an awful lot of stuff. Some stuff I have to buy. And you're probably going to be saying, God, he's tight. Just go out and buy all the products. They're not cheap. I've got five litres of this. This is Red 7, pH neutral wheel cleaner with fallout remover. And I think it retails at something like 47 or 56 quid. It's most expensive. And I've got five litres of that. Going to be running that for its paces. And that's it as far as, the, as far as the products are concerned. But I have a top tip for you. Now, if you're not drinking, like me, you're teetotal at the moment, get a gin glass and then fill it full of that frozen fruit. Get loads of it and it'll make you feel like you're having a drink. However, be careful. Don't Eat too much of that fruit. Yeah, lots and lots of trips. Mm. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have to make another trip. So uh, better roll the video. Quick, hurry up. One of the worst food tips ever there, Paul. I am a change man though. I am walking 15 to 20 miles a week and I've managed to shift over a stone. So it's all looking good. Anyway, enough about my dietary habits and almost soiling yourself with too much fruit, it's on with this. Talking about soiling, look at the state of the rear of this. This is because this car's been mapped and it's a dirty diesel. Yeah, not exactly tree-hugging territory, this one. Lots and lots of grime on it, and got cobwebs and dust and pollen and all sorts of, yeah, nasties on this one. The inside of this is even worse. Mm. Anyway, nice filthy wheels to contend with and the rear is looking shocking. There's not a lot we can do about that uh, tailpipe though, that's past its best. We are, however, gonna be tackling these seals with a handy little gadget. Yeah, mm. let's tell about that rear, the better. Nice looking profile, though. I do like these cars. They're nice looking cars and they're roomy. I've got lots of room in this car. The Volvo badge looking a bit sorry for itself. So we've got Red 7 and we've got Decon Shampoo in the pump sprayer to tackle the wheels and tires. These look nasty. So it's up to you, but I always like to blast the arches out and I like to get the worst of the grime off the tire and the wheel itself. Quite shocking the amount of crud you can get off just by doing this. Now, if you want that glory Instagram shot or Facebook, then you'll just leave these covered in grime and spray the wheel cleaner on it, and it'll just look like, oh, wow, look at that. There's lots and lots of bleeding stuff coming from that. Well, we don't do that here. We like to do things properly. So we're gonna degrease the tire using Decon Shampoo, 
ratio one to eight. Multi-purpose cleaner is great for doing jobs like this. You can see the gunk starting to come out already. Now this stuff um, is neat in the bottle. I don't believe you can dilute this product. It's a little bit niffy, a little bit smelly, but it's got fallout removing it, but it's a wheel cleaner as well. Now this is roughly, I'd say three minutes into dwell time. So I haven't touched it with any um, accessories, no brushes, nothing. And now I'm gonna start hitting it up with the car scope wheel brush. Nice wheel brushes, nice and bendy. You can get right in the spokes and right before your very eyes, it starts working its magic. You can of course use wheel willies or you can use the easy brushes. So I've got a garage therapy chemical resistant brush for the lug nut areas. Quite foamy this stuff, to be honest with you. Now you can use a wash mitt, a wheel mitt. I've got a microfiber. It's an older microfiber. Perfect for getting right in the back of those spokes. Interestingly enough, these badges have remained intact. They're quite clean. So first wheel down and the bit underneath that spoke is, looks like a bit of damage. It's not contamination. Take a look at the top spoke, top of your screen, that yellowing. That's the wheel cleaner doing its thing, attacking all the contaminants. That's after around about three minutes again. So those were the wheels, the wheels are done. Now I'm gonna concentrate on the chassis. So this is the Arva Smart P60. This is the chassis cleaner. These seals go right underneath the car. And if you're not careful, if you don't get it, you go down there with your wash mitt, using two wash mitts, and you can pick up some crud. That's best to give it a blast. Quick swap a Rooney now to the 25 degree. Why? Because it's narrow. And you can do this. Use a wide one. Chances are you're going to flood the cabin. Yeah, see what I mean? Dirty, isn't it? Dirty boy. Don't forget the doors as well. I mentioned this in several videos before. There is a rubber seal normally underneath there or a lip and it gets bunged up with junk. Millions Apple pre-wash now. So I'm going to use this in a strong dilution around about one to five. We're going to let this dwell. So because I'm moving the cameras around the car or camera and only me, I haven't got a cameraman there yet. I'm just going to do this rear and then we're going to go down this side and then we're going to let it dwell. So it's not really sunny because I live in the UK, but it is quite humid. Possibly 22 degrees when I did this. So start at the bottom and work your way up. I like to do things backwards. So after dwelling for a considerable amount of time, I'd say around about five minutes I gave this. We're going to see what this stuff can really do. So people watching this, you lovely, lovely audience, are going to be shouting at the screen and going, wow, what about built hamber? Well, after talking to a colleague of mine in the detail industry, he showed me some pictures of what Bill Hamber did to his clear coat. I can't say who it is, but it's not pretty. And it was at a low dilution rate. It was a Bill Hamber Surfex. Very, very strong stuff. Be careful, guys, out there. So citrus, it's pretty friendly stuff. It's not a TFR, but it will break down the organic stuff at a decent dilution rate. Quick swipe test. Now take a look at the car. Yeah, it looks dirty, doesn't it? Yeah, there's something else going on with this. Got some good swipes going on. Managed to get that off. Not too bad for a citrus. So I thought, I'll try the door. Yeah, the door looks pretty good. So, 
because the car looked a little bit opaque, it looked a little bit cloudy, I'm kind of thinking this is contaminated. So I hit it with the Red 7. Yes, you can use this on the body as well. He's a fallout remover after all. So I allowed that to dwell for a good five minutes. Well, my lovely wife brought us out a cup of coffee. That front nose cone is peppered with stone chips. Not good. Millions Cola car shampoo. Here we go. So I put this in my lance. And the first thing that hits you is the overwhelming scent. It's not sickly, but it is very, very pleasant. Now, in some cases, products like this, scented products, give it a good sniffle. Oh, thumbnail right there. In some cases, you get the scent and then it dies off. This does not die off at all. Yes, it looks like snow foam, but it is a premium shampoo. It's a nice shampoo to use. And don't worry about wastage. Because in it goes, straight into your wash bucket. All right, Paul, that's enough. Right, my foaming shots, thank you. So the first shot's nice and foamy. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? However, moving the camera around the car, you'll see a bit later on, the suds died off a little bit but not in the bucket. Very interesting, this. If we take a look at the panels, the cloudiness is gone, so clearly it had a lot of contamination in there from that dirty diesel poo chute around the back. So after this, I'm expecting this thing to look a damn sight better. So it's nice and glidey. And remember what I said about the suds. It died off a little bit around the front. Give the old teeth a clean. No detailing video would be complete without a detailing brush. Detailer now. Strawberry detailer. Now this is quite a mild scent. But the interesting thing about this is, obviously it's based on rapid detailer. It isn't rapid detailer. They've chucked a load of strawberries in. It's been reformulated. I spoke to the guys at great length at Waxstock about this. I spoke to Michael and Ollie, terrific guys they are, and very, very knowledgeable. So it flashes off nice, and it's got a nice slickness to it. Don't be tempted to use loads of this. You can get a little bit carried away with the gloss. You think, oh, I'm just going to chuck a load more on it. So to pay particular attention just underneath the light. And then you'll just see it flash off. So this will give you a little bit of protection. Handy to keep in the car. Removes finger marks, bugs, splats to a degree but it gives you a nice gloss. And on black, oh. So it's safe to use on your lights and you can, in fact, use this on glass. Oh, he must be serious. He's moved his glasses. Purge next, water spot remover. So I noticed on the glass, especially around this bit, lots and lots of water marks thanks to our lovely hard water. So a liberal spray, and then don't forget badges because you get that dull effect behind the badges. Agitate badges, emblems with a decent brush. You won't get that with a soft brush, by the way, i.e. a sash brush, like a detailing factory one, gets something a little bit stiffer. While it's dwelling, it's doing its thing, it's eating away the mineral de deposits, easy for you to say. 
and then buff it off. You might want to follow up with a glass cleaner. Next up, ODK, a tire, tire and trim dressing. So, car scope, tire dressing brush, little puck. It's quite runny, this stuff. So be careful, don't overload it. And yes, we're using the rim mats, not scraping our knuckles, I can assure you. And that is pretty much it. But don't disappear because if you're going back into that Pratt Cave to discuss what we thought about the products. And there is a sneaky little bit of a before and after with polishing. See if anyone spots it near the end of this video. Anyway, I'm going back to the Pratt Cave. I'll chat to you guys in a minute. Okay, the Volvo looks nice and shiny again. Got rid of all that rubbish. If you can hear a noise in the background, that is someone with a cross-cut saw. He's been going for days. What is he doing? Making an arc? Anyway, let's talk about the Millions products before we go onto the wheels, kind of reverse order. Millions uh, Apple pre-wash. Now this car was heavily contaminated and it kind of affected the pre-wash stage. I've had this before, had this on the white Mercedes. It's a black car. You can't tell it how much contamination is on the car. However, something was going on when I did the pre-wash. It got rid of all the grime, but the car kind of looked cloudy and a bit opaque. It almost like oxidized, hence me doing the fallout stage. Now, I did a swipe test with this, and for a citrus, it worked pretty darn well. One to five, fairly strong. So dilution rates, yeah, play around with them. On the day, it did a reasonable job, and that was the Apple pre-wash. The user experience is... is more about the smell, to be honest with you. It is very, it's nice. When you're doing a car, you want something, you know, something nice to work with. Not everybody's bothered about it. It could smell like rotten eggs. People will be shouting at me going, I don't care what it smells like, but this smells of apples. So that was the pre-wash citrus. Uh, then we move on to talk about user experiences. Cola shampoo, a couple of glugs in my lance, shot the rest in the bucket. Now, looking at the video you can see sometimes the suds didn't look like they were there they were there but i was moving the camera around a lot however strangely enough in the bucket they were still in the bucket so you might have to stick your lance back in and froth it back up the reason i put this in a lance is just to keep the panels a little bit cooler now it was a fairly dull day it was around about 22 degrees very very humid very sweaty down below and it didn't really affect it too much but user experience, the smell. As soon as this came out the lance, my buddy Sean was there and he was like, wow, that is strong. And it is, if you like cola, then it's for you. Really enjoyed that shampoo, yep. Maybe a few more suds, I suppose. Mm, I don't know, but I, I need to give it another play around with. It's very, very good stuff anyway. More reverse order action. The quick detailer. Now, is this an, an improvement on rapid detailer? Well, in my opinion, it is, because I've got Rapid Detailer, and I've had it for quite some time. This seems to flash off quicker, and it seems to be a little bit slicker, and the gloss just seems to be a little bit pepped up. User experience, once again, for me, the strawberry scent is lovely, but it's mainly the, the behaviour, you know, the way this stuff flashes. It's just it's so easy. Get two cloths, don't overload it. I tried overloading it on the bonnet just to see what it would do. A little bit streaky. If it's going to go streaky, get a damp microfiber, level it, get another dry one, and then just go over it and you're good to go. That's what I found on the day anyway. But yeah, I did like that. It's a nice user experience. Uh, we're gonna go back again to the uh, tire and trim, a tire from ODK, super, super runny, very easy to apply. It kind of gives you a glossy start, but then it sort of tails off a little bit. I've driven past this car, it's been done for a number of days now, and it's not like I've driven for a vat of syrup. Look, it's it's in between factory and gloss. Yeah, 
satin, I believe they call it, but yeah, enjoyed that. Didn't use it on the trim. I have used it on trim before. Doesn't last that long. Tires, not bad at all. Uh, then we come to Auto Glance. Purge, used this before. I did tested this out on our shower, believe it or not, to get rid of watermarks. Once again, it's like the GT stuff. It's a little bit tacky, a little bit, gr almost not greasy. I suppose that's the wrong word, but it's a little bit, you know, uh, 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 with the microfiber. It doesn't look it on video, but you can feel it dragging. Flashes off okay. It's not too bad. You might want to follow it up with a glass cleaner. And does it work? Yeah, it removes water spots. Um, used it on the glass. I did test it on the panel as well, and it seems to work very, very well. I know these guys have always got sales on. You can get stuff in bulk as well, auto glance. So go check it out. Now we come to this. <laughs> to be honest with you, I spent quite a bit of time doing this, looking at it and playing around with this, this Red 7. I've got to say, of all the wheel cleaners I've used, four out removers combined, this to me, it just knocks everything off the shelf. It, it really is impressive stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit pongy, but they all are with the fallout removers. And you don't need an enormous amount of it. Now on the wheels, even my buddy come around, he just went, wow. Cause I'd done the wheels by the time he came around for a cup of coffee, we we're sort of like quarter way into the shoot and he couldn't believe the finish on the wheels. Gets rid of all that tarnish and it sort of bleeds the wheels out. It doesn't just do the fallout stage. It, it brightens the wheels up. Now I don't use acid wheel cleaners. I've not really, I tend not to use them, but that was probably the next performance to be honest with you. And it's safe. So yeah, I really recommend that. I'd love to try some more auto smart stuff. I'll try and get some more for the channel, but that for me for the day, that was a hit. So the summary is if you want user experience and you like nice scents and fancy labels and fancy colors and you like products that work, then go and check them out. Links down below underneath this video, with all the other links, the affiliate links are all down below. Check the podcast out as well. Go and check out Auto Smart if you haven't checked them out. Auto Glance, that'll be down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep subscribing. Don't forget to put your thumbs up. Interact with the channel. I try and answer as many questions as possible. You can go follow me on Instagram as well. And don't forget the podcast. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Teddy, bye.